Hey everybody, Emily here. Thanks so much for being here. This is my YouTube channel. You're inside of it. Ah! <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing something um, that honestly I've been putting off because I've been a little bit nervous about whether or not I can do it, but um, I think being afraid of doing it is exactly the reason I should do it and should make a video of it because what am I here for if not to give other people permission to fail or succeed greatly? We'll see. So today we're gonna be making uh, ice cream. I have made ice cream once before uh, and for some reason I decided that for my second time making ice cream I would do something particularly ambitious, which is uh, I made up my own flavor of ice cream. Uh, Dan's birthday was recently and Dan loves ice cream. Dan loves strawberry ice cream and he loves Americone Dream ice cream, uh, the Stephen Colbert one from Ben and Jerry's, is that right? He's saying yes. <laughs> and I thought, what if brought them together into something delicious. So I'm gonna try to make a strawberry Americone dream ice cream. Wait, I had a name for it. Dan's copyright friendly birthday Canadian strawberry repose. <laughs> Perfect. I think it's gonna be good. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make strawberry ice cream as the base. Um, I'm going to make a white chocolate fudge streak to go through it and I'm going to uh, chocolate coat some sugar cones that I bought and then mix those in too. The very first thing we have to do is make our strawberry ice cream custard base. So let's do that. We're using a mixture of uh, frozen and fresh strawberries because that is what we had. We had some frozen strawberries and we thought, why not use them in this? This is a good place for them. What else are we ever going to use them for? A pie? Maybe. Well, not anymore. And then I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of my sugar. Two. And three quarters of a cup of sugar. All right. And then we're just going to stir this up. And we're bringing this up to a boil and then simmering it for about five minutes. And then we're going to let it cool again while we make everything else. Double, double, toil, trouble. Okay, so I moved my strawberries to the back burner to just finish off simmering so that we can keep going. Um, so the next thing I need to do is I have four egg yolks and I'm going to whisk them together with the rest of my sugar. Just whisking our yolk with our sugar. Um, and I'm going to put in my oat milk. And then I need, I'm gonna do an eighth of a cup of coconut oil. The original recipe calls for more, but because I'm using coconut milk and subbing it in, I think that an eighth of a cup is gonna be enough. Give me. Yeah. All right, so I'm just heating this up on medium high until it's steaming. This is actually hotter than we want it to be at this moment. I'm gonna lift it off of the thingy. I'm still getting used to this electric burner, but it is definitely steaming. All right, so now I'm gonna add my vanilla and my salt. So I'm doing a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla. So this is just simmering. And I'm gonna take my ladle and I'm going to temper my eggs. Carefully. All right, so the deal is, this is hard to talk and do at the same time, but you're basically trying to bring the heat of the eggs up without cooking them so that you can add it into the rest of the stuff without ending up with a scrambled egg flavored ice cream. And you might need to do like a few ladles of tempering because you basically want this to be pretty warm to the touch before you put it into the pot. And you're just whisking constantly. So I put the towel underneath to keep the bowl still so I have both in my hands. You get the idea. Maybe I'll just go a little more. All right, babies. All right, so hopefully we did enough there to create a custard and not just a soup. We'll, we'll see. All right, so we're gonna take this off of the heat because we don't want it to cook anymore and get ready for our next step. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my custard and run it through a sieve. This just helps to get out any egg that might have coagulated into something other than what we want in our ice cream, but I think we actually did a pretty darn good job keeping that from happening. All right, so I have my uh, strained 
custard egg mixture here and I'm going to mix in my coconut milk and I'm just gonna add my strawberries my strawberry mixture if you will and I'm going to combine that all together and now the last thing I'm gonna do here uh, is something that I saw online and I will tell you how it goes but they say two tablespoons of vodka and it'll keep it from getting icy which is a can be a problem with homemade ice cream we'll find out the last time we made ice cream it did get a little icy and also a little oily it was not our most successful project but this one I have a good feeling about <laughs> and then we're going to cover this up and put it in the fridge for about four hours if not more actually in our case we're gonna do it overnight but for you if you were gonna do this uh, four hours or more. Diddly-doo, diddly-doo, diddly-doo. <laughs> and as if by magic, we are here and ready to make our fudge streak for the ice cream. This is again, a recipe that comes from another recipe. I will just post all of the sort of inspirational things down below. <laughs> Uh, and you can kind of see where they came from. I'll also put my recipe down there so you have it if you want to try it. We'll see if it's good. If, if, if we both think it's great, then maybe you'll want to. And if not, you know, we'll all have had a nice day. All right, I'm just turning this on nice and low. And I'm going to combine two tablespoons of corn syrup. It's also, I doubt that you can hear the rain, but there is, it's raining today. There's a little bit of a thunderstorm coming through. And two. And then I need a pinch of salt. I have a third of a cup of coconut milk here and a tablespoon of butter. So we're just heating these for about five minutes to combine them. All right, and while that heats up, I'm just gonna tie my hair back real fast. Ha, give that a stir. All right, that's looking combined. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this off, take this off the heat, and then I'm gonna mix in my white chocolate, I actually used a kitchen scale to get four ounces of white chocolate, like a goddamn professional. All right, so white chocolate and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to stir this to melt the white chocolate. All right. Let's say that is a fudge streak ready to start cooling down. It's pretty important that you don't try to mix this into your ice cream while it's still hot, because it will wreak havoc. All right, I'm gonna cover this up, put it in the fridge, move on to our next mixing. <laughs> so for this third step, this is definitely the one that I'm most winging. <laughs> so I wanna get these sugar cones that I got uh, covered in chocolate. So I have um, about five ounces of dark baking chocolate and I'm just gonna use the microwave to melt it because sometimes you don't need to do the double boiler thing. This is gonna be, we're coating these to break them up and then put them in ice cream. So I figure pretty good is good enough on this. <laughs> just waiting. Oh yeah, now we got some serious meltage. All right, so I would say our chocolate is melted. That worked out just fine. So <laughs> on to the more challenging part of this. Uh, so I, I was thinking to try and do it whole, what I might do is like try running it through like that. No, this is gonna take forever if I do it that way. We wanna move pretty fast here because uh, this chocolate will start to solidify again also. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Well, I'm gonna let these uh, harden. <laughs> See you in a minute. And I can't even snap. Ooh, that is cold on my fingers. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put this on stir. All right, now we have to churn that for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up my chocolate cones. We just wanna put our mix-ins in in like the last two minutes of churning, really.
All right, and we're just gonna transfer our ice cream into our container. I was reading the KitchenAid manual and it basically calls this like the mixing process and then it goes in the freezer to ripen. That's how you get hard ice cream. Right now, it's basically soft ice cream. All right, and the way we're gonna get the fudge in is we're gonna layer it in as we pour out the ice cream. This is such a nice, like, rainy day project. All right, and then fudge layer. All right, and my last task is just that I'm supposed to run my knife through in like a zigzag pattern to like get the fudge kind of like everywhere. Just because the internet told me to put parchment paper over this. I'm not sure why I'm also doing the lid, but it feels right in my mind. To the freezer. All right, our ice cream is ready for tasting. <laughs> Before I do anything else, why don't we get Dan in here? Oh, Dan! What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Mmm, that looks really good. Yeah, it looks good, right? It looks like ice cream, honestly. Are you excited? Very. Okay, me too. You go first, it's no, your no, birthday. No, no. It's your birthday! It's first. All right. Wait, no, I can't let you do that. <laughs> oh, man. Mmm, good. All right, I'm gonna get in there too. Mm. Mm. The strawberry and the chocolate go together really well. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a very, it's very creamy. Do you like it? It's, I mean, so this is all of your favorite flavors, right? Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I guess caramel would have made it everything, but I, I thought caramel and strawberry wouldn't go together. It's very good. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I'm gonna go burn food. I know, yeah, it's really cold. <laughs> it, but definitely it ripened successfully. It's hard now. It like scooped like ice cream. I think it turned out really tasty. I would definitely use this recipe again. And I do think that once you know what you're doing, or if you already know what you're doing, this would be a breeze. It really, none of the steps were difficult. It was just several steps and like a lot of time. It's a lot of throwing time at it, you know? Yeah, good ice cream flavor. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for being around. Uh, give this video a like if you liked this. Um, and you wanna see me make more, I don't know, food projects? Uh, please, subscribe. Please encourage her to make more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, subscribe if you would like to see more videos. And um, I'll see you next week. Thanks again. Bye. Miss you already. Have a good week. Can you send me back to the other room? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. You can go now. You just keep me in there. You just keep that in there. I did think that as you were doing that. <laughs>